But what is up everybody? Welcome to another video. So today's video is not so much automotive related. Well, I mean, it, it kind of is. So I'm not gonna be doing any like automotive work, but essentially what I have to do is I have to clean my car seats. So the problem that I've had is I had this water bottle that I would use to go to the gym, but you know, once it's full and if it tipped over or anything, it would just start leaking. So it's actually created some standing on my car seats. Um, I know it's not the most exciting video, but hey, you know, what can I say? You know, it's been a little while, and to be honest, it's something that I really have to get done. Um, also, I have another update for you. So I did order a flaring tool because I need to redo the fuel lines on my project truck, which you, some of you may already know about, you know, for those new viewers or just random viewers. Uh, you may not know about it, but I'm also making another set of videos for that one. Um, yeah, so I'm waiting for that flaring tool to actually show up. I did order it, uh, and yeah, dude, I, I seriously, like, I need to get on that. I busted two, two fuel lines on it right now. Uh, just the rubber portions of it, so, you know, I do need to do that. And then, so today's video is just going to be pretty much just cleaning my car seats. It's going to be nothing special. I mean, I guess really nothing special overall. And then, get this. So I was actually driving over to my parents' house two Fridays ago, and I was passing by a uh, gardener truck, I guess you would say. They were, you know, traveling the opposite direction, and they ended up picking up a rock, slung it in the air, and sure enough, it hit my car. So as you can see... Got a nice little crack right there and it looks freaking massive because I don't know how big the rock was but let me tell you it was freaking loud and it hit my car pretty hard and then because I end up working in a I commute so where I work it actually it's, it gets really hot it gets up to like 120 in the summer but I ended up turning on my AC after my car had been sitting outside just you know after work trying to go home and my car did not like that temperature difference so as you can see there's a crack so one of the things is, I just, you know, I'm thinking maybe I might end up trying it by myself. You know, trying to install a new windshield. I may have somebody do it. I'm not sure. I mean, given my past history, I did try to install a windshield on the, uh, on my project truck. And, well, let's just say I ended up cracking it. So that didn't go so well. So it's still got no windshield. I bought a new one in the back right here, but my, I might have it professionally installed because I don't know if I want to risk breaking that again. So, I don't know. Without further ado, let's just go and let's get these car clean, or these car seats cleaned. Hopefully we can do a good job, I don't know. I'm just gonna go and then see what happens really. So let's go ahead and let's get that done. All right, you guys, so I have a solution of, uh, I don't know, just cleaning solvent here, I guess. So over here I got, got a rag. So I'm gonna be doing this by hand. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and clean some of these spots off. So as you can see, there's some spotting there. I'm not sure what that might be from, maybe from me driving and eating at the same time, I don't know. But essentially what I got in here is a, wow, that angle must be terrible. Okay, so essentially what I got in here is a seat cleaner and it's got a little dab of bleach in it. You want to be careful with that because you don't really want to permanently bleach your seats, especially if they're black. Mine, not so bad. I mean, they're they're a grayish color, so I'm not going to sit here and worry about it. But one of the things that I do have to do is, you know, just going to start scrubbing at it and see how it goes. So I'm just going to grab a rag. And I'm not even sure how the professionals even do it. So honestly, don't take my advice on doing this. I'm just really doing it and hoping for the best and hopefully it turns out good if it doesn't turn out good well oh well at least i tried right but you know it's it's worth giving a shot and just seeing what happens so i'm gonna go ahead and continue scrubbing this i'll show you guys in a little bit hopefully it does not turn out very bad i'm seriously hoping not but i don't know let's just see where this takes us and let's just see what happens all right you guys so i finished up the driver's seat now you know i don't remember well You'll be able to see it, but there was a couple spots that was that were right over here in the very front uh, when I started. I don't know if it worked or not. I mean, I can't really see too much of the spotting right now, but then again, like the whole seat's a little damp, so I'm really not too sure. Um, let me take you guys over to the other side. So I'm going to do the passenger side next. This is the one that's really bad. So normally my water bottle, I would just keep it, you know, with me. It'd either be on the seat or just... Uh, I don't know, just be with me. I don't, I don't know what happened. So I'd normally just fall over and get everything kind of wet. And it happened a couple times. And there was a couple times where I just didn't notice and I left the water bottle in here. And uh, let's just say it had all night to spill, which freaking sucks. But essentially I have this staining. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure you can see that. So I have the staining on my seats right here, which sucks. So I'm gonna try and hopefully remove some of that. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm seriously hoping it works. And if it doesn't work, I mean, that's fine too. But, you know, it's worth, worth trying. I got this recommendation off a um, off somebody, I don't know if you consider him, well, I guess a co-worker for, slash friend. 
So uh, hopefully this, this will end up working, you know, to kind of clean my seats up a little bit. But I mean, really the only thing to do now is I got a scrub. I just have a regular towel that I'm using, you know, in my solution. So I just got a regular towel. I'm just going to scrub it and hopefully it turns out pretty good. I really do hope so. If not, no big deal. But I'm really hoping that I didn't put too much bleach in it and my seats don't end up like seriously stained. But uh, I don't know, I guess we're going to find out and just use my trial and error to see if it's going to work or not, I guess. And if it doesn't work, like I said earlier, don't take my word for it, don't try it, but let's go ahead and let's continue. Alright you guys, so I'm just about finishing up on the passenger side seat. That was the one that was, looked actually really bad, that last shot I gave you. But I'm actually very well surprised. So as, if you can see, a lot of that staining actually did come out. Um, now there still are a couple, you know, damp spots around here. Like some of these, it's, it looks like it's spotting, but honestly it's just really wet but uh yeah so overall i'm actually very surprised it came out a lot better than i thought it would be so for my next video i do hope it will be the one of me redoing the fuel lines on my project truck i am waiting on that flaring tool to come in so hopefully that'll be here within the next week you know really keeping my fingers crossed on that one and i really do want to get on that and i really do want to make like you know better content i know this isn't the most exciting video but you know i appreciate you all for watching and you know until until next time, remember to go out and have fun and enjoy what you do.